I'm Simon Ditchburn. I'm the owner and the managing director of the Tudor Group of Companies. And just recently, I've been doing quite a lot of videos um, which are giving, people's, um, giving people my opinion as being a developer and what I see that what's uh, going on with the market today. Now, I also have questions about some of the promotions that are on the market, but probably more to the point is how those questions have come about to produce my promotion that I have on the market. So I, I like to give people a little bit of the thinking behind the scenes. It's absolutely to the disgust of my sales team at the moment, but I think sometimes these things have got to come from the horse's mouth so people get an idea of who is the face, who is the person behind everything, and what's his opinion, you know, how does he come up with these ideas? So I wanted to have a look today at the rental return promotions that are on the market today, the ones that are guaranteeing the uh, percentages over a period of time. I wanted to break it down with my own questions on these promotions. I know the same questions are coming from a lot of the buyers and a lot of the market out there today. And I wanted to show you how by me addressing what I thought were problems has actually produced the promotion that I have myself today. It's answering a lot of the questions of the market. So let's have a look at the standard rental return promotion today. Now, it is a case that uh, you as an investor or a buyer would have to pay uh, all of the apartment in one go, and that would trigger then your rental return. Now, in a lot of cases I've seen on the market at the moment, we've probably got average sales prices of six million baht, and they are producing 10% rental returns for a period of time, could be five, 10 years, whatever it may be. And then a lot of these projects are actually saying to you that they will buy these uh, apartments back off of you for the original price at the end of that term, 10 years, 15 years, whatever it may be. So I looked at these very, very carefully and I came up with some questions. I actually see this as putting all of my money into a one basket. It's all of my eggs in one basket and I actually see that as being pretty high risk. The reason is, if I've paid the full price, this represents 100% of my investment, and something goes completely wrong in the future, I may only be able to resell that, because it's the only way for me to get my money back, is to literally resell. I might be able to only resell that for five or for four million, something like that on the market today. Well, of course, that's my original investment going down and down and down. I'm actually making quite a big loss on that. So I see the idea that I've got to buy an apartment 100%, whatever the price may be. I see that actually as being high risk. So I realize horses for courses and everybody's going to have their own opinions about this. But for me personally, I actually see that as being a, quite a high risk investment. So the first part for me was quite questionable and it was something that I had to address with my promotion. So the next part of the deal was they're going to give you a 10% return from that full amount that you've actually paid. Well, let's break that down and see, is it actually possible to give people those 10% rental returns? A price of 6 million baht is going to be 600,000 per year. That's your full 10%. That is going to break down to 50,000 baht per month. Now that's what the project has got to make just to pay the customer his 10% return. There's nothing in this calculation yet that's going to cover the actual project themselves. The project has still got to cover his overhead, his own salaries, whatever his overhead may be. Well, I'm imagining that it's not 50,000 per month they've got to get in as a rental return. They've actually got to get in somewhere between 70 and 80,000 per month so that the project itself is making money and they're giving the money back to the customer being their 10%. Well, I know today's market, I know how tough that is, and I know that uh, you've got the high and low seasons. This, for me, was another question. Is it actually possible for the project to make that kind of money? So we had questions on the first one, we had questions on the second one. So let's take a look at the buy buyback after whatever period of time it was, 10 years, 15 years, whatever the period is. Well, 
you've got to ask yourself, is the project actually going to do it? Nobody can predict the future. What happens if you're in a scenario in the future where that six million baht project, that six million baht condo, has actually only turned into a value of three million in the future? Well, do you want to tell me that the developer is actually going to give you six million when he knows that the market value is only three? Who knows? <laughs> you never can tell, I guess, but that was three major questions right across the board with those particular promotions. But, as I said before, I know these promotions are very popular. I know a lot of people have been buying those, and it's horses for courses. So just because I have questions about it doesn't mean that the actual market or other people are going to have questions. But I wanted to address those questions with my particular um, promotion, and I wanted to see, well, I think we can come up with an alternative to this, which is far, far less risk for the customer and still produce a 10% return. So let's put this to one side for a minute. I think you get the gist of this. And I have a feeling that it's something that you've probably already seen. And let's put up on the board my own promotion and see how it compares. So with my own promotion of all of those thoughts and questions with me, I thought to myself, well, let's assume we also have a condo unit for six million baht. I mean, I've also got one, two, and three bedroom apartments, so six million baht can come into it. I thought to myself, well, let's say to the customers, try before you buy. So instead of them having to dive in 100% and take the risk of buying the whole apartment in one go, why don't we give our customers a test period so our customers at this moment in time, they only pay down a deposit of 20% from that 6 million. That is actually five times less the risk from those standard promotions. You've only put in 20% from the full value of the apartment. In this type of scenario, if anything absolutely goes wrong, the worst case scenario, so we're now talking courts, we're now talking it's gone into the auctions, the property's got to be resold to recoup the original investor's money. That investor is only ever looking to get back 20% from the value of the apartment. So let's say that the 20% down from 6 million is 1.2 million bar. That represents his 20%. It's going to be quite safe to say that it's going to be easily achievable from the higher value apartment. Now, actually, the promotion says pay down 20%. You have nothing to pay for five years. This is what we call your trial period. So the aim of this is... Um, Somebody has actually got the chance to test that everything works to make sure that they're comfortable. And at the end of this five-year period, they have a choice. They can actually buy the rest of the apartment, or if they're not happy, they can actually sell the 20% back. They can actually sell it back to us. So this is the actual promotion in its entirety. But as I've just explained to you, when you look at that of being the risk scenario right from the very beginning, the investor has never paid the full 6 million baht. He's only ever paid 20%. So if that is worst case scenario, it goes into the courts, it goes into the auctions, things have got to be resold. Well, I can tell you that they will normally sell these for 50% within the auctions, 50% being 3 million baht, you've only got to recover to the investor 1.2 million, which is 20%. So I think you can see this is pretty low risk. So let's have a look at the next part of it, where we say to them, we'll give everybody a 10% return. Well, of course, we're giving 10% based on the amount that they've paid. So that is going to be 120,000 per year. A year, there we go. Now that actually breaks down to being 10,000 baht per month. Well, I'm sure you know me from Tudor Court. You know that we've been renting successfully at Tudor Court for at least the last eight years. 
And uh, we rent for one year contracts. Well, I can tell you that depending on the type of the room, we are actually making between 18,000 up to 22,000 baht per month rental income. That's the company income from our rents. So basically, looking at the maths of how do we pay the 10% return to people, I think you can see quite clearly the company is receiving this and we're only having to pay this. I think you can see quite clearly that those maths actually add up very, very nicely. So there's no questions really of where the money is going to be coming from. Now, let's have a look at that third scenario. If I add into my promotion that I will also buy back. Let's look at the promotion where we've said to somebody, pay down your 20%. You have a five year trial period, so right the way through that five years, you are receiving this rental return. Let's say that the customer, right at the very end, actually wants to sell it back. He's decided he doesn't want to buy the apartment. Perhaps the, the market has dropped, as I was explaining before, and he comes back to me, the developer, and says, Well, I want my original money back. So I have actually got three very sensible options here of how I can physically buy back that 20%. Number one is I can literally take this package as you see it today and I can sell that package onto somebody else. I can sell the package. So that means that the new customer comes in and we've instantly got the 20% to be able to pay back to the old customer. New customer in, old customer out, there's the 1.2 million baht covered. Let's say we go to uh, scenario number two. What was my second option to be able to buy something back? Well, I could also sell that apartment and I could fire sale that apartment. We needed a quick deal because this customer wanted his money back urgently. I could also put it on the market here for 3 million baht, making a quick sale. Remember, I only ever have to give 1.2 million back to the customer. So I would also have the opportunity of selling the apartment itself. We could sell a condo. Now the last option that we had here, option number three, is because we're only looking for 20% to go back to a customer, I as a developer, I could go to the bank. I could go to MBK, I could go to various different financing companies. Now their loan to values, well I know for a fact that their loan to uh, to value, loan to uh, renting value, loan to uh, is going to be 50% uh, of the price. So once again from the bank I would be able to raise 3 million baht and we only have to pay 1.2 million baht back to the customer. So answering the questions of the promotions that I see on the market today, I actually see our promotion as a result of those questions being very sensible. I see that myself as being probably the most sensible promotion on the market today if you're looking for rental returns. So if you did want any more details and you wanted to come up, see the project itself, see myself, see our sales team, then you're very welcome to either email sales at tudorgroupthailand.com. We'll email you the details. You can also email across to info at tudorgroupthailand.com or you can come up and see me personally and I will talk everything through as you need it straight from the price list. Now, this has already been very popular. A lot of people have already bought this. I think they see exactly the scenario that we saw. So there are only a few units left and that's really not some sort of uh, sales tactic. That is uh, the truth. We're telling you exactly how it is. So if this is the kind of thing that you're looking for, the deals are open now. You need to come up and see us and sign up on those contracts. Also, behind the scenes, just before we drop off, we have a full legal team behind all of this. Now the legal team will explain to you exactly how you are protected on the legal side of things. You're actually being protected by the Consumer Act. So I think it's best that the legal team explain that to you. The, the uh, Consumer Act is actually an incredibly powerful uh, act, to be honest with you, when it comes to acts of things going wrong and investors have got to get their money back. And the contracts behind the scenes there have also been written out by the lawyers in the first place. 
really important things to point out to people because you'd be amazed that people don't have that knowledge in a foreign country. People try to bring the UK laws into Thailand and believe me, that doesn't always work. So local knowledge is very, very important. So I'm going to break off there. I hope you've understood everything. I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, and I'll see you next time and I'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.